The best doesn't just happen. A champion tree is the combination of genetics, site preparation, and careful cultivation. A quality wood product requires precise engineering, cutting edge technology, and expertise in the material science of wood. A memorable day outdoors begins with a fantastic place to visit, a plan to make it accessible, and the right facilities. An innovative, environmentally sound process for making paper is the result of careful research, efficient manufacturing, and visionary thinking. Through 75 years of leadership in forestry, wood and paper science, and parks recreation and tourism management, our faculty, staff, students, alumni, and partners have been making the best happen at the College of Natural Resources. The evolution that led to the diverse and sophisticated college that we see today began simply enough in 1929 with the selection of Doc Hoffman to start the forestry program here. Robert Graber, a visionary forester with the Agricultural Extension Service, convinced President Brooks that such a program was greatly needed in the state to support a growing forest resource base. Doc Hoffman came to North Carolina State College from the Pennsylvania State Forestry School at Mont Alto to start the Department of Forestry in the School of Agriculture. When the Mont Alto School closed that same year, NC State reaped the benefit when many of its students chose to come here, creating an instant forestry department. The early curriculum focused on growing, harvesting, and selling timber, and protecting trees from fire, insects, and theft. Much of that program involved practical, hands-on experience, and the department acquired thousands of acres of land to use as living classrooms. As a land-grant college from its inception, North Carolina State has always had the mission to contribute to the prosperity of the state by providing research and educational opportunities that relate directly to skills needed in the industries and communities here. It was a logical step to expand the forestry department's scope to include the industries that made use of forest resources. Wood products and pulp and paper became new areas of research and education. And with the increasing use of the state's forests for recreation, it was a natural fit when the university's recreation and park administration program moved into forestry. The department adapted, grew, and broadened its scope in response to the needs of the state. More degrees and higher degrees were offered in all areas of study. Names changed to reflect this growth and diversification. In 1950, the Division of Forestry became the School of Forestry, rising to equal status with the other five schools at NC State University. Throughout all of these changes, the College of Natural Resources has continued to be one of the very best by keeping its programs firmly rooted in its mission to contribute to the economic well-being of the state, by looking ahead to anticipate new trends, by pursuing the research needed to meet the changing needs of society, and by reaching out. Partnership has always been one of the hallmarks of the college and a critical key to its success. Academic partnerships within NC State University broaden its capabilities. Joint degree programs allow students to prepare for the complex demands of the industries they'll be entering. And having shared faculty creates a dynamic research environment in which multiple disciplines can be brought together to solve real world problems. Academic collaborations with institutions across the country and around the world give the college's programs a global perspective. Working closely with federal and state agencies has allowed the programs to be tailored to meet needs and to coordinate extension efforts with government programs. 
But perhaps the most crucial partnerships that the college has developed are those with industry. From the very beginning, industry has made the best happen through its support. In 1929, far-sighted industry leaders helped fund the North Carolina Forestry Foundation, which made it possible for the 80,000-acre Hoffman Forest and many other forests to be purchased or gifted for use by the college. The income generated by the Hoffman Forest is a major source of support for research, scholarships, and fellowships today. Working with industry partners, the college developed a number of cooperative programs to focus research on specific goals. From the beginning, the diversity and strength of industrial cooperatives were a distinguishing aspect of the college. From the original Tree Improvement Co-op to the comprehensive spectrum of programs available today, these cooperatives have resulted in breakthrough improvements in quality and efficiency for industry. With the creation of CAMCOR, the college has partnered with international companies to conserve forest genetic resources from around the world. The Pulp and Paper Foundation focuses on scholarships and fellowships. Support from both foundations makes it possible for the college to enroll the brightest and most promising students. Over the years, the generosity of industry partners allowed the college to recruit and support some of the most brilliant researchers in their fields. When the school needed better resources, industry helped equip new buildings and donated patents and state-of-the-art equipment. The unique and enthusiastic partnerships that the College of Natural Resources has with academia, government and industry have paved the way for many of the college's graduates to become the best. The student experience from the earliest days of the forestry program has always been about learning by doing. The spring camps held in the Hoffman Forest in the 40s and 50s were likened to boot camp. Today, summer camp, field experience, the summer practicum, research projects, international internships, service projects, and co-ops are an integral component of a curriculum designed to turn learners into leaders. And new distance education options make it possible for professionals working in remote locations to continue their educations without leaving their jobs. The College of Natural Resources has graduated thousands of students who have gone out and made their mark around the world. They are university presidents and educators throughout the world. They're successful executives in international corporations and generals commanding armies. They're the professional foresters who help rural families manage their forest lands. They are leading environmental groups and government agencies that promote conservation. They are managing our parks and directing recreation programs. They are process engineers and environmental managers who are working to make economies and environments sustainable. College of Natural Resources graduates are enriching all our lives by improving the way we use our natural resources. The College of Natural Resources has made many impressive contributions to science, to industry, to the world. These contributions begin with the people who make innovation possible, the faculty. Throughout the history of the college, there have been faculty who left an indelible mark. Faculty members have been recognized with the highest honors in the world of science for their achievements. These achievements include outstanding teaching, discoveries, innovations, and patents in many areas. Forest productivity was increased 40% using methods and trees developed by research at the college. Paper making has been revolutionized with new, cost-effective, and environmentally sound processes. By developing exceptional curriculum and through dedicated teaching, the faculty have elevated the quality of entry-level professionals into all our disciplines. 
Reflecting the comprehensive nature of the college, outreach and extension programs have expanded over the years to reach beyond traditional extension services into new fields. No other College of Natural Resources offers more recreational outreach than NC State. The management schools for parks and recreation professionals offered by the college at the Ogle Bay National Training Center broaden this outreach to a national level. The North Carolina Senior Games were begun by a college faculty member, and today over 50,000 people participate in the games every year. And new contributions are being made every day by faculty, staff, students, and alumni of the College of Natural Resources. Our first 75 years have proven that the College of Natural Resources, with the help of many partners, has been the best and has helped to make the best happen for communities here in North Carolina and around the globe. Sustainable tourism, environmental technology, international forest conservation, biomaterials and biotechnology. These are the frontiers of the next 75 years. At the College of Natural Resources at NC State, we will continue putting our best minds and hands to work to make new discoveries and develop new applications that will create 21st century solutions to 21st century challenges.